Welcome to Chala Block's YouTube channel. Um, I'm here at uh, Watson Taylor Park. Um, we're every Thursday morning, they do a boot camp, a session down here. Um, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I want to welcome all my subscribers. Remember to continue to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the notification bell, leave a comment in the comment section so I can know and react and respond to you. Um, remember, fitness, you should always have that on your to-do list. Um, remember the slogan, it's health over wealth. You need health in order to gain your wealth. And when you do gain your wealth, you still need health to, to full joy. Um, with that being said, I'm going to um, let my... Uh, yeah. Yes, good morning everyone. I'm Rashid, also known as Olympian. You can find me on Instagram at fitness underscore Olympian. And you can follow me and see the rest of the content that I have. So today we're going to do some fitness with tires. So the first thing we're going to do is the tire flip. So to do the tire flip effectively, you're going to put your feet, you're going to go in a squat stance as wide as possible. You're going to squat as deep as possible and you're going to stick your fingers under the tire so you get a good grip. And then you're going to keep your back up, you're going to keep your chest out, you're going to keep your head up and you're going to push from your legs coming up like this. And then you're going to push the tire forward. Very simple and easy, and it's a very effective workout for muscle building, muscle toning, and cardiovascular training. So we're gonna do it one more time. Shall I? Squat, deep as possible. Right. Keep the back in, keep the chest out, head up. Just push from your legs, all the way up, and push the tire forward, that's it. Right, that's one demonstration, we're gonna do another, another, another right. workout. So the other workout we're gonna do is a tire carry. So with this one, you want to take um, a truck tire because the tractor tire is a bit heavy for if you're not conditioned or strong enough to bring the, the, tr the, the tractor tire. We're going to use a, a truck tire to do this one. So it's similar. So you're going to stand inside the tire. You're going to squat down, head up, chest out, back straight, and you're going to push from your legs. So you're going to stick the fingers under the tire. You find a good grip where you can hold on and balance the tire. Then you're going to squat up. Stand up straight and then you're gonna walk forward. So you choose a destination, walk to that destination, and then you're gonna stop, turn around, and then you're gonna go back. Then when, when putting it down, you carefully put it down, you squat down with it, watch your toes, go down and that's it. So this workout hits the forearm, the triceps, the shoulders and the trapezius muscles so you're gonna squat head up chest out push from your legs grip firmly and you're gonna walk forward turn around and come back Yes, so as you can see, the tricep is, is, is being engaged, the forearm and the trapezius muscles. Squat back down now. Perfect. All right, so, so we're gonna do flip with the bigger tractor. Yeah. So this is the, the flip with the bigger tractor tire. So it's the same, it's the same motion. Squat, head up, chest up, back straight, push from your legs and chuck it forward. So Olympian, what about um, the one that I see where they're in, like they're doing a, um, it looks almost like you're doing a leg workout, but you're kind of like, the tire is set slant and you're kind of like just pushing it back. Yes, yes, we can do that as well. Because so since we did one with the flip, we're going to yeah. show them something else. Okay, so this one, we need a partner for this one. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to start like this in a squat position and you're going to use your, your, your legs and your upper body strength to push your tire forward. You're going to catch the tire. When you catch it, you break the force with your legs by squatting down a little bit. Okay. And then you're going to squat up and push it back to me. Okay. You understand? All right. So, so step back down. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So you have more space. Ready? Yes. Squat down, push it back to me now. That's it. That's it. And it's a routine, it's a rhythm. When they get it, it's really nice and yes, easy. Yes, yes. Okay. It's nice and, easy. And, I, and I feel and everything like hurt. it. Yeah, you're gonna feel it in the legs. Right. Squat down, push back. Yes, I actually love this one. Alright. 
Do a last one? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so with that being said, we have one more exercise one more? that okay. I want to show you guys. Yes. So this is called the sledgehammer smack. One second. So with the side hammer smash, you're gonna put your dominant hand at the bottom and your other hand at the top. So when he said the dominant hand, you know, you know that he's talking about the hand that you actually use. That's the, the hand that you actually use. Go ahead. So you're gonna go under by pushing this elbow out and then you're gonna come over. So when you're coming down with the hammer, you can shorten the length by bringing down your hand a little bit more, say produce a little bit more force and then you smash it. So go over, so go under, and then you come over your head and smash. So real nice and simple, very effective cardio and strength workout. And you, are, you said to me before that you want to make sure that when your hammer comes, it's kind of in the, the yes, center yes. of the... If you, of if, the you, if you hit the hammer here, it might break the board of the hammer, the hammer stick. You don't want that. You want to hit the firm part of the, of the, of the tire. So you shorten, shorten the grip by sliding your hand up when, you, when, you, when, you, when the hammer is above your head. Right. So when you reach above, you shorten it in the ring, but you keep this hand at the same place. You just slide this hand up when you're coming over. You understand? So slide it more to... No, no, slide it. So you can hold it like this now, right. but as soon as I reach up here, you slide it down. Okay. And then you smash. Alright, so here we are, we are learning. We're here with the professional. Up. Slide down the hammer and smash. No, no, you go under. You go under. Smash, you go under again. Okay. Yeah. Right, so let's go one more time. Yeah, I get it. All right. Yeah. So we go up. Shorten while you're coming down. Just slide down the hand. Yeah, just use it with the rhythm. And then yeah. you go under. Under again. Come on over. Smash it again. That's it. All right. We go under. Yeah. Come over. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And this one, what, 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 what you actually get? What, what is it that you're um, so this, achieving from this one? So this is a good cardiovascular workout. Okay. So it helps to burn fat right. and engage a lot of the upper body muscles. So as you do it, you're gonna feel the muscle, chest, back, bicep, shoulders. All of that is engaged, and especially your core, because you need to keep the core tight while you're doing this. All right. Right. And bear that. And bear this in mind. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. There's always tires. Used tires are everywhere, anywhere in the world. And also remember, you use your common sense. Um, if if you realize that a tire is too heavy for you, then get a smaller tire. If you um, if you can't do a set of ten, then go to a set of nine. You can't do that. Go to a set of eight until you um, can comfortable manage what you're doing and build yourself up. Because trust me, working out. It's not easy, it takes discipline and um, also with working out, it's not just working out either. You have to have diet and I know that there are um, there's persons that have specific body part that they want to work out. You know what I mean? So it, 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 depends. it depends on what you want to, um, which body part that you wanted to work out with. Um, so again, we're here with Olympian, he already introduced himself. We're at Watson Taylor Park in Lucy, Hanover, Jamaica. Um, and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the beauty of this is that when you finish, you have the beach right there. Like, you know, the beach is over there. When you finish, you have the beach. I mean, I don't know what else. That's like a celebrity lifestyle, but persons in Jamaica don't realize that until they started to travel abroad. Um, Olympian, is there anything you want to say before we close out here? Yes, so you have to remember during your workout to drink water. You don't want to drink too much at once, so you get um, what they call stitches in your stomach. But you want to keep hydrated during the workout. And, you know, seek a professional before before you, you, you um, start doing certain exercises. Because the last thing you want to do is injure yourself. And if you have any chronic illnesses or diseases before you start workout, you go to your doctor, tell him you want to work out. And if you have a trainer, you make him write a letter to the trainer and then um, we go from there, alright? So everybody keep safe and, you know, keep healthy, keep strong. And, you know, it takes, it takes discipline. And, um, yes, eat as healthy as possible, alright? Okay, as he said, it all comes back to Chala Black's um, slogan, health over wealth, because at, at the, the, the worst thing you want and the last thing you want is for you to try to get healthy and actually deteriorate your health. So, 
I like that closing remarks that he just done. It's Chalablox. Remember to like, share the video, subscribe, and also remember to go and check out Olympian and Instagram. It's Chalablox, and I'm out.